Hey guys, it's Brooklyn. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to care for goldfish, specifically black moors, but basically any like small fantail goldfish, not like big koi or anything. But yeah, these are my black moor goldfish, um, Smokey and Casper. I think this one's a boy, and that, and I think Casper's a boy, and Smokey's a girl because one, Smokey's a lot smaller than Casper. Casper is more like flatter body, and Smoke and Smokey's like a bigger body. And she has, like, I don't know, that thing that goes, like, out instead of just flat. And Casper has, like, a flat, I don't know, really, like, back by their tails, that thing. So, I think they're a boy and girl, and they chase each other. And Casper chases Smokey around a lot. So, yeah. Um, if you, before I ramble on too much, if you want to see how to care for goldfish, then stay tuned. Here's the video. Okay, so to start off goldfish here, we're going to talk about the tank in size. So, a good tank size is 10 gallon and up, I would say, for two goldfish. If you have one, I'd still recommend getting a 10 gallon, because they're about the size, they're about the price of a fish bowl, and I know they take up more room than a fish bowl, like a lot, but just get a 10 gallon tank for one or two goldfish and that will work really well. So about 10 gallons per one to two goldfish. I recommend per goldfish, but if you can't do that and you have two goldfish, then that will be fine. They will be fine in a 10 gallon. Just make sure you're cleaning the tank and keeping it up. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to need is some sort of filter. And this filter is for like 20 to 30 gallons, and this is a 10 gallon, so it works really good. You wanna get about bigger than the tank size because they produce a lot of waste and I'd suggest doing water changes every couple weeks and um, so I really I think you really need a filter because otherwise it's just it's going to get really messy I don't have cartridge in here right now I have like a really good sponge but I will be getting cartridge soon so don't worry about that but yeah, next thing you might want, you probably should have it unless your filter gives off a lot of air. Mine does, but I still have it, um, is like aeration. You're probably going to want one of these things, like an air stone. Because they honestly love it. Like my fish go through it all the time. And as you can see, this one's a little bit more active than that one right now. But uh, that's not normal. It's just right now he's just being kind of... I don't know, tired, it's kind of late, I don't know. My fish, actually, I've seen them sleep before, so that's pretty cool, but yeah. So, aeration is a pretty good deal. I really suggest it. It's not necessary, like, have to have it. Especially if your filter, like, gives off a lot of bubbles. Like, all of those bubbles are from my filter, so it works really good. But I just suggest getting an air stone, but it's not, like, a have-to-have. Okay, so the next thing you might want to consider is a heater, but I don't really, I don't need a heater. You do not need a heater because goldfish are cold water fish, so they don't need heaters. But if you would like to have one so it doesn't get too cold, then that's fine. Just set it to something low. They like a temperature around 70 degrees, a little bit over or a little bit under 70 is good. Just stay around 70 degrees or room temperature, 72, something like that. Just because they do like that. If it gets really warm, then you might want to increase feeding. And if it gets really cold, like in the winter or something, then make the feeding, like what you, how much you feed them, go down. It'll help with their digestive system. So you don't need a heater, but I definitely think you need a filter and maybe a bubbler okay so the next thing is light you do not need a light but i love lights because they make your tank look so pretty like i'll show you here's it on and then off that's with the light off doesn't it look so much better with the light on yeah, but I suggest you turn it off every night. Oh, there, this one's getting moon. Yeah, I think they're really good pets. They're so cute. Oh, 
he went through the bubbles. Did you see that? He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. There he goes. It looks like he's going behind him, but he can't really go behind him because there it's right up next to the wall. You just saw that. So, yeah. This is Smokey, and that's Casper back there. Casper loves the bubbles. So does Smokey. This is a girl, and that's a boy, I'm pretty sure. Because this one's a little smaller, and it's, like, rounder belly. And it has, like, that out, that thing that goes out. And then that one's more, like, a thin, kind of. And his, mic like, is round, basically. So, yeah. Um, now, let's talk about decorations. Um, gravel or substrate is not necessary. No decorations are, like, a must-have. Like, if you don't have them, they will not die, obviously. But, I think you would... They're gonna. They're not gonna be very happy if you don't have anything in the tank. Lots of people like the bare bottom, but... For goldfish, but... I like gravel, and pick a fun color. I know they're stuck on there. I'm gonna do a water change, like, this weekend, but... Yeah, so... Gravel, sand are good I, options. Um, and having, I like having little marbles scattered here and there. I'm sorry for like all that stuff, the yellow stuff. Sorry about that, but just some sort of substrate because they love picking at it. Like, you'll probably see them picking at it. They like sifting through it. Next thing is plants. I like plants a lot. I'm going to be getting more plants for my fish um, soon. So yeah, I have three, four plants in this decorations. Decorations are awesome. Places to hide are not are pretty optional because places to hide for goldfish are kind of hard to find because you have to have big spaces because they're big fish. They're pretty big fish. So I just like having some pieces of decor and stuff. So yeah. My, obviously I have a theme going on here. Black, white, purple, blue. That's the theme because they're black and that's why. So that about wraps it up for how to like set up a tank and stuff. Now you're going to need food, obviously, otherwise they will die. Um, I really re recommend Omega One stuff. It's really good. And the ingredients are really good. It has whole salmon, seafood mix, black cod, just all those ingredients. And they're really good for your fish. And it has um, fiber. It has 8.5 fiber, 39% protein. It's just really good. So I really recommend it. Um... You can feed them a bunch of different varieties. This is what I feed them. They seem to really love it. And don't feed them too much of these. You can also feed them pellets, but I like flakes for goldfish. Um, so, yeah. That about wraps up care for goldfish. This was really requested. And Bethany D, who's an awesome YouTuber and a pretty good friend of mine now, which is really cool. But And Bella and Beta, shout out to those two girls because they're really nice to me. And they they suggested goldfish care. Um, and there's one other person that I can't think of it, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up care for goldfish. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it, do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Brookie Lynn, signing out. Say bye to Smokey and Casper. Bye.